Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about what you need to charge your Model 3 in Australia. So to begin, let's take a look at this port we have on the Model 3 here. So in Australia, I think it's the same as a lot of European countries, we have a CCS2 port here. So on the top is the port, a Type 2 port for AC charging, and on the bottom are two DC pins for DC fast charging. So this is kind of like the common standard-ish port we see in Australia. Uh, we do have some Type 1 ports, which is kind of compatible with Type 2 with an adapter. But otherwise, all our superchargers, our rapid chargers, tend to have this kind of CCS2 port uh, for us to use here. So what kind of standard equipment does the Model 3 come with in Australia? So let me gather the standard charging stuff that it comes with the car, and then we'll get into it. So what does the car come with in terms of charging equipment? Well, the first thing you'll see when you open the, the boot is your mobile connector. This is a charger which allows you to use your regular home outlet to charge your car. So in this case, in Australia, it comes with two pigtails. This is just the standard 10 amp plug uh, for, you know, in Australia, this is what we get. We have a three pin kind of plug. And the bottom here, the ground is a bit thinner when compared to the other pigtail, which is the 15 amp one. So it also comes with a 15 amp pigtail. Now, households normally don't have this, but some like camping sites, some caravan sites might have a 15 amp plug, which you can utilize so to get a little bit faster charge. And you'll notice that the um, ground pin here is quite a bit thicker compared to the standard 10 amp one here. So on the end is just the type two plug. So this will fit straight into that port over there. And it, this is for the AC charging. Uh, it's a bit slow, but I've actually managed to use my car for a year just on this um, mobile connector. So I don't actually have a high powered wall connector. Speaking of the high powered wall connector, for my 2019 model, it actually comes with one. So in the boot, when I got the car, it came with a Tesla wall connector. I haven't even opened this box. I never installed it. And I've just been living off the mobile connector here on the 10 amp tail. So if you don't travel too much, you know, you could definitely make do with just this mobile connector for your day to day. Now in Australia, we have different charging stations. So let's talk about, you know, what you need to access all the public charges that we have. Okay, so what if you are not at home and you're at a public charger or you know at someone else's house or not your own place, what do you need to make sure you can charge? Well, all these things I wanna talk about are optional. Uh, I just have them just in case. So the first thing you'll notice is this orange cable here. That's just an extension cable. So that's just a standard 10 amp extension cable, but I made sure that it was thick gauged. So this cable here, uh, actually bought from a welding site. So they use this for welding equipment so that you know that it can actually take the uh, current that you might be drawing from the, the mobile connector. So that's the first thing I have. Now I've only used it like once or twice when I was like at an Airbnb or at someone's house where the extension, well, the, the plug was a bit far from the mobile connector. So it's just a backup. Um, you don't actually need this, but I have it just in case. Now the next thing I have is a type two to type two cable. Now this cable is actually quite expensive. I think it's 200-ish Australian dollars. Again, it's optional, but in Australia, we have a lot of uh, charging stations, the public charging stations, which don't actually give you a cable. So they have a, a charging station with a, a port that you can plug in your own type two cable. So I got this uh, just in case. Again, you could technically filter out the those stations on the plug share app and just ignore those, but it gives you additional option um, for charging if you have one of these cables with you. Now, the final thing I have is this little thing hiding in the darkness. This is a type one to type two adapter. Now I mentioned before that the type two adapter is compatible with type one, but you just need to have a converter. So I bought this uh, on AliExpress actually. So all the stuff I have, I'll just leave links in the description. So right now in Sydney, from my experience, the charge point chargers uh, tend to have type one cables on them. Now, my understanding is charge point has actually stopped supplying their service in Sydney, but their chargers still work and they're actually free. So if you do have one of these adapters, uh, you can actually plug into a charge point uh, spot and actually charge for free. Now it is just AC charging, so it's not rapid charging, but it's good, you know, sometimes the, the charger is closer to the entrance to the shopping center uh, and it's usually free. So. Yeah, get one of these if you are interested in using type one adapters. But again, all three of these accessories are actually optional and you don't need any of them to charge your Tesla. 
So that's about it. I hope this was useful and thanks for watching.